In this tutorial, I'll show you how to create a whip pan transition in After Effects without using any plugins. You'll need videos, of course. I've got mine here from pixels.com. And as you can see, they are 24 frames per second. So create a composition based on that. Let's click on new composition, select the drop down and select 24 frames, then click OK. And select the videos and drag them to the timeline. Then I'm going to go to two seconds, train the layers and align them properly. So we have a scene ready to go for our transition. Then I'm going to zoom in on the timeline then right click in the empty space and create a new adjustment layer. Then go to effects and presets and search for motion tile. Add this to the adjustment layer. Now from the cut point, move 5 frames back by pressing page up 5 times. And create a keyframe for tile center. Now position your playhead at the cut point between your clips. Then hold your shift and press page down once to move 10 frames to the right. Press U 2 times to see the keyframes on the timeline. And now we need to change out the values of the tile center. So depending on which direction you want to go, you just change out the values. I'm going to go to the right. So drag the X values to the negatives and make two full cycles. So the value should be negative 2880. And now from this last keyframe we've created, go back five frames by pressing page up five times and set the value that is closer to the end keyframe value. So something like minus 2500 should do for this. This will give us a better easing at the end of the transition. And the next step will be to select the first and the last keyframe and press F9 to easily ease them. We can do our first preview of the transition. And that looks alright as of now. But if you don't like these rough cuts, which personally I don't, let's click on the mirror edges and that will make the transition a lot more seamless. The main part of the transition is done. Let's now add some blur. So a lot of people like to add directional blur, but I personally don't because it doesn't have repeat edge pixels option. So instead I'm going to add fast box blur, add it to the adjustment layer, then go to the first keyframe of our motion tile center, create a keyframe for blur radius at zero, then press U two times to see them on the timeline, go to the end keyframe of the motion tile and create another keyframe at zero. Then go to the middle keyframe and increase the blur radius, but make sure to set blur dimensions to horizontal to get horizontal blur and let's set blur radius to 200 and click on repeat edge pixels, you can see what it does. And as before, select the last and the first keyframe and press F9 to easily ease them as well. And just like that, we've been able to create a dynamic whip pan transition in After Effects without using any plugins. If you enjoyed this tutorial and learned something new, please give this video a like, I would really appreciate that. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next tutorial.